May get some good news. The Department of Education recently announced it'll make some changes to the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. If you applied for this and you were denied, you definitely want to listen up because you may now qualify for this relief. Joining us on this Friday afternoon is CPA Kimberly Washington to tell us what you need to know. Kim, good to see you. First, tell us how the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program works. What do people need to know? Right, so first off, this program was actually started in 2007. The purpose of this program was to actually help individuals who went into a public sector career, such as being a nurse, a firefighter, or a teacher, or if you work for the government, you were able to make payments for 10 years, consecutive payments, and have your loans canceled at the end of 10 years. However, many people did not, it did not work out for many people. Kim, what issues did a lot of people run into trying to request student loan forgiveness under the PSLF program? It was a lot of widespread confusion. It was different type of loans that did qualify. It was also, you do need to recertify each year. So many people didn't know all the rules and get this even when they called, they got wrong information. So only 16,000 people actually qualified were able, successfully able to get their loans canceled during this time. And that's the reason for the overhaul of this program. So let's talk about the new changes. How will this impact student loan borrowers? This is a big deal for so many people. It's estimated at least just at the start of this program, more than a half a million people will automatically qualify as far as getting the loans forgiven. They would need to take action on their own part. Payments made during a certain time would also qualify towards the program. So this is a big deal, but this is a temporary change. This change is just in place until October of next year. So if you think you're someone who qualified, you definitely want to seek out more information. And Kim, what's next for this program and what should people know? The first thing that you want to do is you want to head over to the Department of Education's website. There is a form that you're going to need to complete if you believe that you did qualify or maybe you're someone who applied in the past and your loans were turned down for cancellation. They're now maybe eligible again to actually be forgiven. So you definitely want to head over to the Department of Education website. Do complete out the loan if you need to. There may be some other steps you need to do, but you do want to take advantage. And I also tweeted out some information on my Kim Sense page on my Twitter page. All right, definitely give Kim a follow on Twitter. Great information as always on social media and right here with us. We certainly appreciate you, Kim. Thank you.